In this video, we're going to look at how Dr. Rohit Singh Malan improved his uh, GMAT score to 760 and then the role that data and methods had um, in helping him achieve this improvement. So just some background, Dr. Rohit Singh Malan started uh, preparing for the GMAT. Um, in the first stage of his preparation, um, he started using books. He spent about 10 weeks preparing using books, but was unable to cross a score of 660 and his verbal was stuck at a V32. Um, now, he was really, really confused because uh, he had a really strong background in, in English and he thought that he knew most of the concepts and, and he knew how to apply those concepts. He then improved. So we're going to really see how he improved from that V32 to V41 and how he leveraged data to power that improvement. More specifically, we're going to focus on the sentence correction aspect of his improvement. So before we look at how data powered Rohit's improvement, let's look at uh, his debrief. Uh, this was his debrief. You can really see that from the URL over here. And this is the state after 10 weeks of preparation. Again, he struggled with many things. One was that he was unable to question the uh, to complete the verbal section on time. He couldn't go past 29 questions. And, and then he, he essentially wasn't able to see much improvement on, on GMAT verbal. He said he still had a feeling of absence of concepts that were needed to answer questions. And this is after 10 weeks of preparation using books. So let's, let's now look at Rohit's account. And, and again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to focus on uh, just the sentence correction aspect. So this is Rohit's uh, sentence correction uh, uh, course on the EGMAT platform. The first thing that you would notice is really, really good aggregate scores. Now, mind you, there are 87 files in this course. So there are 87 points where Rohit was given personalized feedback and he excelled at most of those stages. One of the other things that you'd really notice is that um, his scores and application files were really good. So here you see the, all the application file filtered out. And barring this one idioms application file, there is no application file in which he has a score of lower than 70%. In fact, in many of them, he scored uh, upwards of 100%. And then more specifically, when you look at modifier application files, parallelism application files. One of the other things that you'd also notice is that uh, he spent high quality time on this. So time spent on these files is, is on many of these files is upwards of 30 minutes, which really shows that he focused on learning the content and he focused on learning how to apply the content. And as he went from uh, uh, from the course to Skull Reading, when, uh, where, where we evaluate his, um, his ability to apply the concepts to the second level, you can see that improvement. Overall accuracy and sentence correction of very high 80%. But when you look at easy questions, he pretty much got all of them correct. When you look at medium questions, he got four out of five correct. In fact, towards the end, he was doing much better. And when you look at hard questions, that's what made the difference. He got seven out of 10 or eight out of 10 correct, which is what helped him improve that V41, which is 94th percentile on GMAT verbal and, um, and, and, and a 90th percentile ability on GMAT's intense correction. So what you can see over here is, is that how methods, which is, you know, learning the right methods in the application files and data uh, powered uh, him to, to improve from that V31, V32 level to that V41 level. And, and this improvement happened in, in a matter of weeks. It did not take tens of months to, to, for, for Rohit to achieve uh, such improvement.